hi guys welcome back to my channel let me arrange my cap how you all doing i believe you all are doing great wherever you are my name is inkem doris in case this is your first time stopping by or seeing this face you're highly welcome feel relaxed enjoy this channel subscribe if you've not subscribed and to you all my returning viewers ah thank you so much thank you thank you thank you for coming around thank you for coming back again thank you for watching all my videos thank you for the reactions and thank you for the comments and uh, the likes and the shares okay i really do appreciate and before we move forward please like this video just like it like it like it before we continue so for the past years like we grew up to know and also to hear that nigeria is the giant of africa the question now on everybody's lips is this is nigeria still the giant of africa is nigeria still the giant of africa what's the criteria for a country being a giant of africa is nigeria still maintaining that hmm the way you are asking that is the same way everybody else out there is asking this, that same question. And we are looking for who will answer these questions. But let's see. Let's look at this now. There are a whole lot of things that should be considered. There are a whole lot of things that should be looked into. Number one is um, when you talk of healthcare system, when you talk of education system, when you talk of uh, 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 road networks, schools, hospitals, so many things, job opportunities. When you talk of all those things, the giant of Africa we are talking about, does it take good in all those things? The economy, state of the country, is it favorable to the citizens, to the residents, to the people living in that country? If all those things, you take all of them good, that means Nigeria is still the giant of Africa. But if there are some that you did not take good, mm, I think there is a question mark there. Now let's look at the economic state of the country, of Nigeria. Economic state of Nigeria now, it's not funny. That is just the truth. The way things are going higher and higher every day. Days are gone when people will say, eh, Gary is just for the poor people. Guys, Gary now is for the rich. If you can afford to buy Gary, if you can afford to buy, even if it's one cup of Gary, two cups of Gary, you are rich. Days are gone when you will see someone drinking Gary or eating Gary, you'll be like, mm, that person is poor. It's a lie. Things are going higher and higher every day. Why did I start with Gary? I will have to start with food. I will have to start with foodstuffs. The one people eat in order to have the strength to go find whatever they will, uh, 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 do for the day or help uh, uh, help the family with. Talk of rice. Rice is very expensive now. Because when you talk of economy of the country without mentioning how the people survive, what the people eat, you've not started talking about the economy of the country. Things are very expensive in the market. Whatever you buy today, when you go to the market tomorrow, will be times two. It got to a point when dollar rates started going down. People were so happy. When you go to so many social media platforms, people were rejoicing. People were jubilating. People were saying, wow, thank God that things will come down. Food stuff will come down. Guys, I witnessed this. I went to the market that same week. Things did not come down anything. Things kept on increasing. I was forced and pushed to ask a particular trader, a particular market woman. I was like, dollar is coming down. Why are you people still selling things high? Why is it still going up? She told me that these are old stock. Old stock for the past one or two weeks. People are still selling old stock. I don't know. Then talk of the education system. There are so many people, so many children out there that cannot go to school because of money. They cannot afford the school fees. They cannot afford to pay. They cannot afford to buy school uniforms. They cannot afford, of, afford to buy school sandals. All thanks to God for amazing philanthropies, some amazing rich men and women in the society that are helping out. So many children are in the streets, not going to school. During school hours, you see them 
loitering around, moving up and down. Because they don't have anybody that will cater for their fees. Talk of the road networks. It's not funny. There are some places you will go, there are some places you will visit in Nigeria. It will be nothing to write home about. Will you be blaming the driver for driving too fast or the bad road networks? There are some avoidable accidents that have happened in the past that can be avoided, but because of bad road, it happened. So many things need to be put in place. So many things need to be done. So many things need to... Ah, where will I start from, guys? Things are not like... Hmm. <laughs> like I said a few minutes ago, this is no longer a case of seeing someone eating gari, you will say, ah, the person is poor. This is not that case anymore. Whomsoever that you see eating gari now is rich. You took off the healthcare system. I heard of a story, I heard, I heard a story of, um, of, of someone that took his nephew to a hospital for I think for a treatment or for a shortage of of blood or something so that when he got to the hospital the the nurses there was like there is no space like with one nonchalant attitude was telling him there is no space so okay yesterday that we went to church the priest was telling us the story so he was now saying that when they when he now got to the hospital with the child the first thing the nurse told him was, there is no space, so he was like, ah, ah, which one is that there is no space in the hospital? That, and he came, like, the, 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 the matter at hand is very, very urgent. That what the nurse now told him, unless he will wait and join the queue. Mm -hmm. Join the queue with, uh, uh, he even came with the nephew that is not feeling fine, that needs urgent attention. He was telling us the story yesterday and people were like, wonderful, like, hospital, hospital. These are the things you look at and, and ask yourself, is Nigeria still giant of Africa? I did ask, so may you not help me answer for comment section. Because this one, eh, it pass. Like, what do not pass, Gary Hill? So... Tell me what you think, tell me your take, tell me your opinion in the comment section. I'd love to read from you all, I would love to hear from you all, okay? Remember, this is Nkem Doris, YouTube blogger, YouTube content creator, a mom, and living here in Nigeria. Do have a lovely day, thank you for watching up to this point, and remain blessed. Bye!